next question is being received uh, someone asked me a question uh, what madhab methodology you follow and which madhab is the correct one to follow um uh, someone asked a question like what method madhab or the methodology of a reason do i follow and uh, what is the correct path uh, it has to be followed to be on the correct way uh, the correct madhab uh, to follow that is being going back to the prophet and the sahaba and uh, since between that time and uh, and up till up till today there were four uh, there not only four, many people are aware of there are four uh sunnah schools of uh, thought that is um uh, Hanafi Madhab and the Shafi Madhab, Hamil Madhab and the Maliki Madhab. So, so what happens during that time? Uh, many Madhabs was spread all over the world. Let's for an example in the Eastern part, the Hanafi Madhab was being followed in the Eastern countries and uh, in sub African countries there are uh, Maliki Madhab and I'm sure there are Shafi Madhab. In the Arab countries, they follow like a Hanbali Madhab, and some of them they follow uh, Shafi Madhab. And according to the country is being spread all over the world, different Madhab, whatever the population had went all the way gone through. But the majority of, uh, um, but the most of the Madhab that has been spread all over the world, that was a Hanfi Madhab, because this was now let's understand this. There were not only like four uh, schools of thought. For an example, other than these four great scholars of Islam, may peace be and blessing be upon all of them, uh, they were not the only one. They just become a very popular because of their opinion. For an example, during that time, other than these four uh, scholars, uh, that's the fifth one who give his own opinion, that does not mean uh, somebody just stick to his own matab. For an example, uh, I'm going to give a one hadith. There's a one of the prophet um, when Mu'ad bin Jabal was going to Yemen, and uh, the prophet sallallahu asked him, "What are you taking uh, with you? How are you gonna judge?" And uh, Mu'ad bin Jabal radiyallahu anhu he replied that I'm taking the book of Allah and I'm going to judge people uh, according to the book. Then the prophet sallallahu said, "What if you do not find the answer in the the book of Allah?" Then Mu'adh bin Jabal radiallahu he said that I'm going to judge uh, according to the son whatever you have uh, taught us. Then the Prophet said, what if you do not find something which I have not taught you and how would you judge? And then the Mu'adh bin Jabal said, uh, I will judge based on, uh, for example, he just mentioned something like a commentary of the Hadith. is like he, he, he simply answered that I'm going to judge. Uh, based on the situation, based on circumstances, and uh, and based on many factors, and then I will judge and I will give the justice. Then the Prophet ﷺ replied him, "Okay, now you are on the right path because now uh, you stick to the main source that is Quran. Then you stick to the." Uh, so now the Prophet ﷺ, that's the hadith and the teaching of the Prophet ﷺ. and then after that you left the matter broad based on the situation and uh, based on experience and based on uh, many logical answers and many circumstances based on many uh, factors and based on that um, I will respond that so now that makes him he is on the right path now for an example how does uh, this uh, the madhab why people do stick with the madhab now for an example uh, this is something very important if someone uh, how do people get misguided sticking uh, to the main madhab for an example uh, someone asked me can I drink a water uh, in a cup I would say okay that's a permissible you can drink that and uh, someone comes to me so now that that's a person a that's a number there's a a and someone asked me can i drink uh, water in my hands and there's a person b and i would say okay that's a permissible 
and uh, third person who came to me can i drink a water in a jug i would say okay that's a permissible you can drink that now that's a c and now there's a third person who is a d who come to me can i drink a water in a bowl i said okay that's a permissible now these people ask me something which is not contradicting quran which is not contradicting a sunnah basically they ask me what is halal what is uh, permissible i would just i would uh, give my opinion okay you can have it because as long as it's not falling into the category of disliked it is not fall into the category of haram it is permissible you can drink whatever you like it unless the the cup is not impure and your hand is not impure now that's a different question uh, if somebody asks me can i drink in a water in a in a cup in a hand in a jug in a bowl okay you can it's permissible uh, for you to do that now what happens that these people are not misguided because they ask me simple question now before now each each person like person a person b person c person d and there's a person a for an as an apple okay and now there's a person that uh his generation his children came and they start learning in islam this uh his children saw their father was drinking the water in a cup and now his children started drinking a water in a cup because uh they saw drinking uh, their father in a cup now they would not come to analyze they would not come to and investigate that we we can we can drink in a jug we can drink in a hand we can use other sources as long as it is not haram and this is permissible <laughs> that does not fall into the category of haram because this is not contradicting quran this is not contradicting uh the prophet it's it's totally permissible uh you can drink it however you like it's okay as long as something uh, the utensil or the cup or something is not pure you can drink it now his children stick to the cup now now next second generation they saw their father their grandfathers drinking in a cup and everybody started drinking in a cup because they do not understand that this is permissible to drink in other utensils or there uh, there are uh, other sources to use that but they stick to the same thing for them that becomes their madhab this is the way we're supposed to be drinking and the problem with these people are we can if, if we tell them uh, there are other sources you can use that he will say no i will stick to my grandfather and because his grandfather did the same thing and his grandfather uh, did the same thing so i'm just going to stick uh to the same line that's fine you can do that but as long as it's not haram so this becomes like how the mazhab has been split from other people because the person because the people all the muslim who stick to their mazhab they do not want to leave their uh uh their line they will just want to stick on the same thing because there's a uh there's a beautiful ayah in a in a chapter 6 of verse number 153 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa anna hadha sirat mustaqima fattabihu wa la tatabassabul fatafarraqum bikum an sabili and the similar uh, ayat has been repeated in the chapter 3 was number uh, was number 1 1 2 and 1 3 where Allah say wa atasimu biha bihablillah jami'an wa la tafarraqu Allah said stick to the Quran and the sunnah and do not mix the farqa between that so those people i'm talking about those people who stick to their line for an example uh, those people who say that i'm just we are like 100 percent hanfi and i'm going to be saying hanfi because i had a, like a recently uh conversation uh with a scholar and he said i'm 100 percent hanfi i'm just going to stick with that but what i'm going to ask them question uh who told you to be 100 percent hanfi why don't you uh, choose other opinion he says i'm just going to stick with that that's it i mean they have their own opinion i have my own opinion but if you if, if somebody would ask me like okay what madhab do methodology i would uh, uh i follow i do not follow any madhab i do not i'm not a hanfi i'm not a shafi i'm not a humbly i'm not a, a maliki i'm just spreading uh the word of allah that's as quran and then just spreading the word of what is the sahih hadith so this is what every muslim is supposed to be are falling and the rest of the matter should be left 
uh, very broad and not sticking with their own scholars because these people are just like sticking sticking with their own madhab and they just want to be hanfi and uh, the humbly people they just want to be humbly and uh, the other people they just want to be uh, following their own madhab so basically he does not follow that we follow the the methodology of the prophet sallallahu and the surface salihin that's what the madhab that is being very corrected up till today and we have to uh, and how this the, this happens actually uh, this happens mostly uh, how this has been uh, uh, divided it was because of the the time when when there was no technology and there was not a much sources how to how to filter the hadith some of them uh, because there was no computerized uh, time era at that time and but now we have a computer now we have a technology now it's so easy to find the chain of narrations to the technology let's say we have a whole complete uh, database and in the database we have approximately hundreds and thousands of uh, hadiths in one database in that database is like a completely dictionary and each hadith has a chain of narration on each chain of narration there's a, a we can filter that out and we can investigate on each sahaba or tabain taba tabain and the next generation we can uh, investigate on each person who was he who was he who was he and then we come to the conclusion okay this hadith is zaif this is fabricated this is maudu and this is sahih this so we stick to the sahih this and the rest of the matters we'll leave it to the broad-minded we should not be like sticking to a particular madhab or that madhab and that mother everybody have the at the last name some of them call like Hanfi, some of them call maliki some of them shafi why you have to say because this is dividing the ummah in order for me to to stop these things we have to go back to the quran and the teachings of the prophet our main akida is we have to we all believe on the book of allah and the second thing we believe 